Arena. The time is now as we get set for what should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time for our tale of the tape. Terrence Bud Crawford, 173 centimeters tall, weight 63.5 kilos with a reach of 188 centimeters. And he'll be up against Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. There is no joke about this. Someone is gonna get hurt, the other is gonna get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. And he Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Fighting out of the blue corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. This is it. This is that place. This is that, that fight venue. This is the place where the action happens. Under the bright lights here for this one, really good matchup, and we're hoping for a really good fight. They ring the bell, and here we go. And some of the left jab. Catch and shoot. Believe this, Bud Crawford just got knocked down. But here we go again, back into the fire. What caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, you compose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. <laughs> Looks like he's leading halfway through this round. He misses with that jab. Crawford's legs are all over the place. And right back into the fray. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely good. I thought there was no way to the finish this time. Crawford in trouble. He had it. Crawford is dazed. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What do you do? What do you tell them when they go to the corner? How are they going to get through it? Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen in this round. Let's talk about Crawford in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. And look at that chap slow. Just stay, keep stop. Just get him on the end of the chap. Huh. Just the same again. Don't change too much yet. Start sticking a few body shots in there. Bury it up a little bit so we can't figure you out. Great. Good work there, the jab's working nice. Those one, two straights down the middle. Absolutely shattered. He's hurt, he's ready to go. But he's got to the fight. Great round. He was thinking, he was finishing. The jab's working nice. Those one, two straight down the middle. No. Don't forget the jab, and don't get carried away. Think about the defense. the fight. Great round. 
so just and that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Start just sticking a few body shots in there a little bit. Just vary it up a little bit so we can't give you up. Jab misses. Not a seat to be had in this arena, Johnny. It's got that big fight feel, doesn't it? Can you imagine walking into this car? Walking into an arena with such nice people chanting your name. You've got the media corner man whispering in your ear. I've been in situations like that where it can be terrorizing if you haven't got your wits about you. Failing to score with that right hook. Perfect counter shot. You don't want to go tit for tat in there in this fight. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at it. Sometimes when you're fighting a counter fighter, the round can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. You're fighting a counter puncher here with Dummy. some point the corner has to stop the fight for this fighter because he's not gonna lay down he's up but, but for how long look at him on the heels but look at it's not for that there's no defense the eye is raised it's just like one more final second and the corner better get warmed up that's what to do let's talk about alvarez in that last round the bell to start the round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to do it. Trying for a knockout. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the face can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're gonna punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter it. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Big shots from Terrence Crawford just got rocked. This fighter continues to show how much heart he's got, but the corner may have to intervene here. Oh, he's a small blow to that. He's put in that once. He knows what shot works. And when they're they're too good again. He's just 